In 2012, 120 law enforcement officers lost their lives in the line of duty nationwide. And this weekend, the nation will honor those men and women. That's exactly what officers in Terre Haute did today while paying a lasting tribute to one of their own. News 10's Matt Gregory explains. It's a familiar service, the guns of May piercing in the air, <laughs> solemn horns and pipes echoing the loss of past years. but with a different meaning since that July day in 2011. So we didn't really work with anybody that lost their lives. And now it's somebody you worked with, you, you know, we're out here protecting people with, you're fighting people with, and then you lose him. It's more personal. But today in the heart of the ceremony, a familiar face, the bronze tribute to Officer Brent Long, a close likeness that only a mother could appreciate. Well, he had broke his nose when he was 16 in an accident, and I always, he, he was so always conscious of his bump in his nose, and he said, I can't even wear sunglasses bright because they don't, they're crooked, you know, so, so he did put the little bump in the nose for him. <laughs> so. And a loss only a mother could understand. He truly was meant to be an officer, and he also knew that someday it could end like this but you keep those things in the back of your mind. This week, to honor them. As the ceremony concluded with a prayer and a salute, Officer Long will forever be in the front of his brother's minds. I wish we didn't have to see a statue out there. Uh, I wish Brent was here and we could see him every day, but that's, we can't fix that. But it's important, I think, to not forget Brent. In Terre Haute with photojournalist John Tim. Canine Officer Brent Long, age 34. And it was July 11, 2011. Matt Gregory, News 10. A small contingent of Terre Haute police officers heads to Washington, D.C. this weekend for National Police Week.